All right, construction cronies, what's good, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to another Metal Stud framing video. Here is uh, a little bit of layout and bottom, like track stuff going on. Uh, you know, the first thing, first thing you want to do when you get to a job is do your layout, snap all your lines, and then nail down your bottom track. This is the uh, top track. So you can see here on these angles, what I'm doing is I put, you can put your square across, measure back. You see it's an inch and three quarters big there. That's the, the tab for the, uh, the front side to be cut. Okay. You can measure the back there. That's what you cut off the front for your, uh, your tabs. Okay. You can also add an extra half inch for a uh, drywall to slip in. In this, in this specific job, the drywall will be finishing below the top of the, of the wall. So I don't have to cut those tabs. Okay. We have 12 foot high walls. They don't go up to structure. It's all free floating. And then below uh, the drywall stops at 10 feet on this job. Okay. So I don't have to cut the top tabs. You see the tricks there. Okay. You got fishtails to, uh, you know, those are the two inch fishtails. You cut two inches in, but you can see how we're overlapping all the corners and, and doing our fishtails to join tracks together. You guys can rewatch this a million times, play it at whatever speed you want. Uh, but you can see that you got to really th thoroughly th think this out through okay so i i've done a video on the bottom track uh this is now the top track and, and how are we going to stand it you're going to see tricks here and how we get we get them stood up in that and uh, yeah you can see uh, there's my buddy up there working away um and we've got some walls already but first thing you need to do as well is get all the wall studs screwed in shoot a laser on it okay line laser boom get your wall studs screwed in everywhere so then it kind of boom 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 super fast okay because then you can set that track on the the stud uh, the wall, okay, that's your one side, and then the other side you can just like have a like a random stud. You'll see some tricks here. Okay, so here we go. This is one way. This is a free floating. This is not attached to the wall. So you see, um, Rat's got the end stud in. I got I got the stud in here. We're just putting a screw in it, okay, uh, to hold it. Right. See how he's got he's screwing in both sides there. I've already got mine screwed in. Okay, this is because there's no wall for it to go in or anything. Just check it out. Watch, boom. Okay. That's awesome. You'll see throughout this video, and, and please ask any questions you have down below in the comments, okay? Because uh, this is going to go a little bit fast. I've sped up some sections here and stuff like that. I'm going to try to talk as much as I can to give you guys as much information as I can. But you guys know I'm always getting back to you in the comments, so please leave me qu any questions you have. So the far end, you're gonna also going to see in a second too. It literally has nothing. So when we, it's free floating completely. So he's got a brace set there. Uh, there's a there's a return into that other wall. Okay, so he's gonna have. We already have the the top track set. Okay, it's gonna be the same on the top as it is on the bottom. With these free floating walls, it's simple. Okay, the, sometimes you want to check when it's coming off the wall because the walls can can be leaning in or out. So it might be a little bit different at the top. But you know, just cut your track. It's gonna be it should be close enough. Uh, if it's leaning in a little bit, it's okay. You can bring your track out off the stuff off the wall a little bit. If it's leaning out, then you can just simply trim the end. It's as simple as that, right? So get all your track prepared from the bottom like this after the layout, okay? And you're always planting tabs or overlapping so you can screw it all together and it'll help brace itself and be strong, okay? Uh, and you can see right here, okay, this is it. So you can see the, the one going straight across is, is gonna be a header because there's a door going in here. So there's gonna be a header there and two end studs, corner, and then he's got a brace crossing to help uh, get that. But you can see how I'm, what I mean by completely free floating. So we got multiple lasers all the time. Okay, that, like I got like we got so many lasers between the two of us. We can see right there how you, we can start screwing things together. Okay, you want to uh, work in sizes that are manageable to you. You don't want to go like crazy buck. Okay, and start screwing all of it together. But work, start screwing what you can, uh, what you can work with together. Even fishtails, like big long lengths, you can. Um, you can you, you like I said I've showed you that trick where you where you flip a stud upside down, put the track on so that it's straight. Okay, and you screw that together and it's beautiful. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna put four screws in the top and then you're gonna put a screw on either side in in the flange on the sides. Okay, so that way it doesn't uh, bow up and down as well and it won't move like you know, from side to side, but yeah, we work in pairs. Uh, the guy on the ground is always being prepared, always helping the guy on up top. He, you, you want to make sure the guy ain't climbing up and down. Okay. That's just critical. So, you know, he's got a fishtail on, on his end and he's going to connect it into that other, tr other, other track clamp it. We have lasers on it. 
uh, so that we can, uh, like even at the very corner here, okay, I have the laser I'm looking, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm looking, yep, yeah, it's right on the corner on the edge, the red dot, it's perfect, okay, uh, we have another, we have two pin lasers and a line laser on this, so uh, there's always a reference point. Okay, uh, but yeah, the guy on the bottom always getting things prepared ahead of time. So basically what happens is I go ahead and I do the layout and then he starts doing banging track in behind me. Okay, doing the bottom track and then I go back and I start laying out all the 16s. He'll lay out 16s as, as he's uh, putting the top track in. Okay, sometimes we can pre-do it, but generally he's going to do it uh, when he's installing the top track. He's bracing up cross. Of the, there's going to be T-bar everywhere in here, I think at 10 feet, right? So be a little bit lower than 10 feet because the drywall in here is 10 feet and then the T-bar the will be right below that. So you can see there's about, I think it's like a foot and a half above to those those like big beam trusses. And then the they're like uh, two, like I don't think these ones are quite two feet, but um, they're, anyways, it's a little bit higher to the Q-deck. You can always um, run uh, braces to the Q-deck, but, uh, and here we are literally just shooting them to the I-beams, okay, for extra bracing. Now, uh, once he's got, got kind of going ahead and he's got the, getting like the top track in and he doesn't doesn't need my help i'm going to come back and i'm going to start putting headers in behind him okay and i'm going to i'm going to start pre-cutting all the header studs and getting those in i'm i'm going to be screwing in the bottoms and he comes around and like on his on his stilts or the baker and then screws the tops in but uh right now i'm checking high low sides uh for the headers and when you have a whole hallway uh, you want all your headers to be at the same elevation okay so here i am i'm just checking side to side making sure checking high low sides Right, you want to always come off your high, off your high side because you don't, you can't squish the other side in, right? So you want you want to find out where the where it's low and bring it up, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna go from every opening and um, yeah, check, right? And then what I'll do is I'll come back when I got a good elevation and I'll mark it and I square it across. I, I like to make a, a square mark with my marker across each side because when I'm putting the headers in, then I don't have to use a square or nothing. I just literally look at the line and match my steel track to that line, okay? And put a screw on either side and then it's square, it's level, it's perfect, okay? Um, this whole job we framed in one single day. So layout and framed in one whole day. Uh, this is funny. This one we actually had to do twice, but <laughs> eh, sometimes it's, uh, that was actually pretty good money for us. Uh, it was good that we had to do it twice. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you, you, you can, you can kind of get a see where we're using braces. You were screwing them into existing walls, uh, running studs cross, wherever you have to add braces, add braces, man, make sure it's nice and strong. Uh, it doesn't, it's not shaking, right? Um, it, that's, it's always going to be good. See those angles, how we pre screwed them in together at the bottom. It, it's perfect. You just make sure you're using pin lasers and stuff and, uh, checking, uh, that everything is plumb and level. Okay. Like here, here, you'll see me. I got, I've already marked both sides with a square. That's why when I put the laser on it, I literally, I just take my square and I draw a line on both sides across so that I don't have to pull it a square or anything. I just clamp it and then, and I eyeball it uh, by putting it on the square line and screwing each side. It's simple as that. Okay. So after this, I already know how far over it is to the first 16 at the top. Our door studs are level. So keep that in mind. Our door studs are level. So the, the, the distance from the 16 at the top is going to be the same at the header uh, marking over. But you can actually, on this here, when I'm doing my layout, I actually make pencil marks where all the studs go for this reason because I, I can't quite reach the top, but I know the distance from the, the opening to the first 16, and I'm going to mark that. That's what I was doing bending over there. I was just checking that. So now there you go. See, I'm putting my tape there. I'm measuring over to the first 16, and then I'm, I'm moving my tape. Uh, clamping it on 16 it looks like it's right on like close to the door but so it's not always that way okay uh, and then yeah there we go then I'm checking my elevations they're pretty much going to be the same everywhere sometimes the tracks will dip in and out, like up and down a little bit but I just I just check and then it's good right I'll just pick one number unless it's something crazy different and uh, we'll go from there okay so then I get the studs cut get them in I'm screwing in the bottoms and then um, rats coming back and screwing in the tops with uh, the baker or whatever. So now here's the thing. There, there's going to be a bow in this one. It's going to dip down a little bit. That's fine. Get all the studs screwed in and squared off. And if you there, if you need to uh, pull it up, the you can do that. You can shoot a brace up to that I beam there and pull it up. And it'll it'll literally pull up the 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 header. Uh, and this because these are big headers, right? 
And because, uh, yeah, you don't want that to bow down, bow down, right? But yeah, no, simple, simple as that. Um, I think too, like, okay, good. There's looks like there's channel here, right? So we're putting channel in. There's no insulation in this job, but we are putting channel in uh, every four feet, right? Four and eight. This one here is two tracks already screwed together. We have a tab that's going to go across the that far wall. And then we have a stud screwed to the wall on the other side. like, And so that's why, and we just put a stud in the middle there to hold it from like, for, so it's not wowing down in the middle. And then he's going to go ahead. We got the laser on. And he's going to screw in, uh, like, he's going to screw it in on, on both sides, and then we'll start studying it out, right? But you can see me there. I'm already just kind of, like, uh, checking out the 16s. So I, I told him right there, the uh, right, we're going to go off that wall, 1632. He can do the same at the top. I, uh, yeah, because there's actually, I don't know if the drywall, I think the drywall, yeah, the drywall is going to pass straight through on the end there. Uh, so we're going to come out, like, 16 half to the first uh, center, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But, yeah, once he's done uh, uh, securing that so that it's uh perfectly level and uh, in place I'll start uh, putting the studs in and I like I like taking bundles of stud and leaning it up against the wall the the least amount of time we have to bend over right is is good for us so try to try to stand them up against the wall it, it really helps a lot but um, yeah then and then I'll go around and I finish screwing off all the bottoms he's got he's gonna have all the top screwed off but at this point I'm already screwing off I've already probably screwed off all these bottoms but you have to work together with your partner uh, so things go smoothly um, and you're supporting the guy up top so he's not up and down right you don't want that's what tires you out really the most okay is that climbing up and down uh, you don't want to do that right but uh, yeah, you can see, look, I'm already back there. Yeah, I'm screwing off bottoms in the back there. He's screwing off tops. Once he's out of the way there, I'll come back, screw off all the bottoms there. You know, I'm going to leave the floaters floating. Hey, he's shooting a brace right there. So you can see he's got the he's got it clamped in place. One, two, three shots. Yep, three shots into that I-beam. And then he's going to screw it into the, into the track through that way, right? And it's nice to uh, screw them from like the bottom up because if you ever have to do demo or take it apart, then you don't have to reach onto the top of the wall. You can kind of see the screws from the bottom and you just take them out. Simple, right? Um, but yeah, just clamp it and it's good to go okay and there you go so he's got his 16s uh you can check for plumb on your 16s like uh the we know that our steel is perfectly level but we know this wall here is out like three quarters of an inch i remember i remember uh this job it, it's leaning in three quarters of an inch so it, you we didn't want to draw our 16s off of that side you know what i mean but yeah that's that guys so if you guys like the video if you guys want to learn more about metal stud framing drywall taping make sure to subscribe give me a like share this video out uh we're coming close to 15,000 subscribers we've been on youtube since 2018 i've covered hundreds of jobs guys i really enjoy doing this so show me you appreciate it and uh yeah give me a like and subscribe i'll talk to you soon bye for now